Hey, it's Ben's from WPLaunchClub.com with your WordPress tip of the day. This is a great new plugin just came out from my friend Andrew Palmer and his team called Gutenberg AI. This is a tool that you're really going to want to pay attention to because of all the things I've been saying this year about how Gutenberg's time has come and how we're supporting it natively with our LaunchFlows plugin and so forth, even in front of Elementor, the very popular 5.9 million users uh, page builder. In the world we live in now with Gutenberg really hitting its stride, I'm suggesting that you give Gutenberg the first slot for all your design and layout stuff whenever you're doing sales funnel, marketing automation, e-commerce, e-learning, and so forth. Now, if you are already using Elementor, you can still combine the best of both worlds and use Elementor for the headers and the footers and the sidebars and the dynamic content stuff that can't be done really well yet with Gutenberg this plugin helps out. Here's essentially what it does. Let's say we've got a page that we already have in Elementor, or we're going to create one. Gutenberg AI will convert that content almost pixel for pixel, not 100%, but really close into native Gutenberg. It's really that simple, but the end result is that you can do all your designing and all your layouts in your comfortable page builder and move over slowly and at your own leisure to Gutenberg. Let's do one together. I'm going to create a new sample page. And this is just using Elementor standard. You could use Elementor Pro, of course. We're gonna uh, create this with Elementor and we'll call this uh, Sample Gutenberg AI. And what I'm gonna do here is I could build it myself. I'm just gonna drop in one of the pre-made uh, templates, something. Let's just use this cooking one. It's quite complex. Let's just use it and drop it in. I'm not going to do anything with the page layout. I'm just literally putting the template in. Now we've got Elementor, which again is terrific if you're comfortable with, but you have all the controls and the tools of Elementor. Let's go ahead and publish this page, but we're going to save this as a template. Now it could be converted either way, but I'm just going to do it so you can see that it works both ways. So if I save this, I could keep this layout as uh, sample Gutenberg AI template. Okay. Now here's the magic. Once this is saved, let's go ahead and close this out and we're going to go into the dashboard and we're going to use the Gutenberg AI. Now this plugin requires the Gutenberg Bakery Blocks plugin, which I've already installed, the Blocks Bakery. But we go to Gutenberg AI, leave this page, and it didn't save my title, but that's okay. And you can see here that I've got the page and I've also got the library template. So I could do this in either direction. I could do it to the core uh, template or I could do it to the page. Let's go ahead and do it to the template. I simply click the convert and it takes all the contents from Elementor and it makes it into native blocks. It may take a couple seconds here, but once it's done, I've got everything done for me and it's native Gutenberg now, which is really, really clever. So for example, if we view this page, well, let's do it this way. Actually, let's go preview so I can open in a new tab. We'll see that we've got almost a pixel for pixel done in Gutenberg of the original template. Now there may be some changes here and there, but when I go to edit it, notice I am in Gutenberg. I can click on the element and change this to, look, it's new. Now, don't worry about this overlap. The overlap is simply because I've got the drawers open and so forth. If I close my drawer, it would be fine. <laughs> I think I've heard that before. That sounded like a joke. Let's refresh the page and you'll see that, look, it's changing the content, but all the styling and everything else is as it was, or at least close enough to make it happen. This is not a perfect solution, but boy oh boy, is it a easy solution for getting over the hump. For anybody who's considering using Gutenberg, I would definitely say check out the Gutenberg AI plugin. And it's a relatively inexpensive one for what it does. Even a personal site, 45 bucks a year, a great utility to get you over the hump until you start doing things natively with Gutenberg. If you have any other questions, reach out to me over at help at wplaunchclub.com. Join our free Facebook group. If you like this video, please click like, share, do the whole routine, and I'll see you on the next video.